Uh, this is Math 142. This is a problem out of the out of the book, out of Section 6.5, Number 28. Uh, someone asked me to talk about this one. So we're given these conditions, and so let me sketch what I know. And I'm not I'm not going to try to draw it to scale. I'm just going to draw it. I know that side B is 73 units long, side C is 82, and angle B is 58 degrees. Now notice this is a side-side angle situation. So it's potentially uh, the case that I have one solution, two solutions, or no solutions. So remember what could happen here in this picture is uh, you have this you have this this 58 degrees here. This is fixed at 82 long, and this right here is 73 long. And what could happen is, um, it could be that the 73 just doesn't reach. It's not long enough. It could be that the 73 is a length such that it could be here, but then it could swing over and make another triangle here as well. And you have these two possible triangles that work. Or it could be that it fits exactly and it doesn't, it, it's not long enough to, it's too long to swing across. So we need to check those, those cases. So first thing I'm gonna do then is, uh, just try and find this angle C right here because I, I already know, you know, this angle and the side across from it. So I should be able to use law of sines to get there from here. So I'm going to say sine of C divided by 82 is sine of 58 degrees divided by 73. Multiply both sides by 82 to get that out of the denominator. Um, sine of C is 82 sine 58 degrees divided by 73. So in order to get C, I'm going to use, I'm going to use arc sine. So C is that inverse sine of whatever this value is, of whatever this 82 uh, sine of 58 divided by 73 is. So now I'm going to take a peek at my, calen uh, my calendar. I'm going to take a peek at my calculator. And I will go, um, so first off, I'll figure out just the, the first part, which was 82 times the sine of 58. Close up those parentheses. And then I'm going to divide by um, 73. So notice that's the value of this, right? That's what this is equal to. So now I'm going to arc sine that. arc sine of my last answer, and it gives me about 72.3. So that means that C must be about 72.3 degrees. So 72.3 degrees. What I found with that 72.3 degrees was, was actually this possible angle right here. So now remember what could happen is it could swing in and give me another angle, something that is obtuse up here. And the way that I find it is um, these two angles are the same because this length is the same. So if this is 72.3, I can get the other one by going 180 minus. And so if I do that, um, 180 minus 72.3. So my other possible triangle has this at 58 degrees, and this is at 107.7 degrees. Now the way that I can check it, if, it, if it works or not is make sure this is actually a legitimate triangle. So the angles have to add up to 180. So if I go 180 minus those two angles that I know, that's a plus sign. As long as that's not negative, I'm in, I'm in good shape because that means I have enough space uh, for another angle. Yeah, that's 14.3 degrees, and then I can get the other ones. Now, notice that's only going to happen when your, your original answer is greater than that. So this has to be greater than that because if it, if it wasn't, um, when I want 180 minus it, 
um, I wouldn't end up with, with enough space for another triangle. So for example, 72 is bigger than 58, so it's all good. But let's say that this angle had ended up being 13. Notice that this angle here then would be 180 minus 13, would be 167. And if I go 167 plus 58, that's going to be bigger than 180. That's 225. And in that case, those angles would be going away from, like they wouldn't be able to go towards each other. They close back up. They'd be going away from each other. So as long as this, this angle that you got, is greater than that angle right there, you're in good shape. You'll get a, you'll get a, a second triangle in this SSA case. All right. I hope that helps.